Yeah, come around here, there's like an actual... And you want to make the most of all this and sort of reinvent it for this piece? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've just walked into a hoarder's house. Literally, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his face. He looks like a naughty schoolboy. <laughs> I'm at the space right now, and I was just wondering when, like, you're gonna make it here. Yeah. Um. Uh, 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 Lots of the artists haven't been to the space yet, so one of the most important things is to show them the space, to let them um, have a look around and see, like, get acquainted with the space, so they know what they can do and what they can't do in the space. So it's going to be taking place out of a new good stock, and then we're meeting with um, someone from Reform Radio, who are hopefully going to be um, doing like live music and streaming and uh, occupying a stage at the venue. And um, just going to be speaking to people at Goodstock about some of the technical, practical things about you know like where we're going to where we're going to be moving stuff to and where the stages are going to go. Yeah, so I like the idea of a collaboration. I think that's a really good idea. And this is something that you've written for the exhibition. Yeah. Oh. I'll just get I'll just get it out so like you can see them like together, like together because that's how because that's how it, it, it will you, be like. And you were inspired by her artwork to write this piece of poetry. I feel like so far so good. It's going all to plan. Nothing's gone horribly wrong, and fingers crossed it stays like that because um, we can't afford things to go wrong. We have 60 days until the event and there's a lot to pull together so so far everything I need to do needs to be done to the best uh, standard so that we're not having to go back and do things again like printing out posters, giving out flyers, um, marketing the event it's just stuff like that really but you know what like it's it's the nature of curating and producing is like you do a rid ridiculous amount of work yourself and w one minute you think you're finished something else occurs um, Oh, hey ho. That's why I love it. Thanks for going down. Hey, hey. On to the next thing. See you later. It's really nice to see you, hey. That's the first thing to show. The show for the exhibition. So, 18 and 2018, live music, live art, and this is the venue that's happening in. Can I show you the space inside? People are going to be coming into the space, and we're going to be using all four floors of the space. Um, this entire bit is going to be all music, so we're going to have to save that. And we're looking to like move everything and have a clear space so that people can just put whatever they want in here. Yeah, so if you, if you, if you left... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was more, it's 
from Reform Radio today and like some of the artists it's getting me excited to like actually see the work in the space you know what I mean like I feel like that's when that's when things really come to life they've been so used to sort of like obviously taking on work that has been you know like determined by a certain agenda or certain guidelines of what you can and can't do in the space but people that be inspired in good stock have just been like here here's the space do what you want make it yours and I think that's what makes this event special, is just like there is really more or less no guidelines, it's just an empty canvas and um, they can do whatever they want. Stop. <laughs> what you're thinking, like, just initial thoughts so far. Well, my initial thoughts is to take apart all the clothes we have downstairs that we're going to dispose of in the basement. Just, yeah, just into the original pattern pieces. I'm really interested in sustainability and not necessarily fashion installation, fashion, fine art. So I think it's interesting to make those links. I'm really excited to see it. I'm really excited for people to see it. And I think it's going to be one of the things that people particularly engage with. Mm. Because first of all, it's there for you to touch and it's to photograph and you're walking around it. Yeah, yeah, for real. I think it's going to, it's one of the ones... It's interactive in a sense. Because if you're walking over it, you're viewing it, you're seeing it from different angles. Yeah. And everyone's going to have a different opinion on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing bugs me more than going to spaces and seeing barriers. Mm. Like, you know, if you go to a typical art gallery or a corporate... Yeah, even with clothes, I hate that. I'm, I always feel clothes yeah. in exhibitions when I should. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I think, I think <laughs> what we're trying to do is make it live and make yeah. it interactive. And you're exactly doing that by fulfilling that by doing this piece. Are you using it from the basement? Like the, the room? Yeah, there's, I'll show you down, the downstairs space. All of it's in packaged away mostly. So it just looks like Lead the way. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's, Let's have a look. Down. Is it normally that would get thrown away? So much stuff to get rid of. Come around the corner, this is where I like. Wow. Most of it is. The Ben, there's just mountains of clothes. Might as well do something with them. Yeah, geez. Yeah, come around here, there's like an actual. And you want to make the most of all this and sort of reinvent it for this piece? Yeah. I feel like I've just walked into a hoarder's house. Literally, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his face. He looks like a naughty school boy. Ah! No, literally, I couldn't even know what the time Some of the stuff in here is just like... Like, it, why do people donate this? I mean, they might as well if they're just trying to throw it out. Yeah. Wow. And, and... It was cool hot. I feel like it's going to be heavy. It is. The whole point is someone can't literally wear it. Yeah. When I get someone that's really strong, muscular, but they're still not going to be able to withstand the mm. pressure or the gravity of it. Have any idea, like the um, what it's gonna what's gonna hold it up? Well, that's another thing. We're gonna have to try and reinforce it from the pillars, probably on the third floor, or I don't know, because attachment hooks would probably break. Mm. Depends. We'll have to get to that stage when we get to that stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we actually put it up. Yeah, I think that's going to be one of the biggest barriers. It's just how it can s sustain that weight and stay intact. You know mm. what I mean? But that's it's more impactful when it's held up. Yeah. I mean, it could literally be on like. 